Okay, I wanted to point something out here with uh, this new kayak. You can see right here is your rudder, rudder control. I use the Sea Tug uh, plastic wheel system because I'm trying to reduce weight. Uh, I've had uh, cancer surgery in my abdomen and a double hernia, so I want to take things a little light. And, uh, so anyway, what I do when I unstrap is I got so much room back here that I go ahead and just set the wheels upside down right on top of here. Therein is the problem. Uh, when I went to Minto Brown, I had sand and gravel stuck on the wheels. When I tipped it upside down, the sand and gravel went inside here. And you can literally hear, when you turn the knob here, you can literally hear the grinding, which um, could potentially cut your cable uh, over a period of time. Um, so I just tipped the kayak on the side, poured water in there to try and flush it out, and it worked. But that is something you'll have to consider uh, when you get this. Okay, well, here we go. This is um, Mission Lake. I checked the website to make sure it was accessible, that the road wasn't flooded over, and it wasn't, and it was true. It wasn't. I got my Garmin on here. Got my winter gear on. And uh, I'm about ready to head out and uh, just kind of do some exploring. I'm not going to do much fishing, but I'm really going to test out the Garmin. I want to see what uh, depths I got here. What well, water temp, of course, I'm sure is probably in the 40s. So that's another reason why I'm not going to do too much fishing. Real muddy, real cold. It's going to be real windy, so I doubt there's going to be much recording either. So here we go. Um, well, there's 13 feet, so... Okay, yeah, that's like I thought. This would be about the deepest part of the whole Mission Lake. It's right here at the launch. Here I got 14 feet. But, uh, let's, um, let's carry on. See what we got in the areas that I fish. Okay, I should be getting over the top of a tree fall. Look, uh, there's a fork in the tree. Uh, the roots, root balls to my left. And there's uh, the tree forks out here. Here we go. There it is. Yeah, see, I'm only sitting in. There's the tree. Four foot of water, six foot of water. I'm over the tree stump now. Now you can see the tree. And there's some fish right there. Just as I suspected, there's a channel right here. Um, what I didn't expect it to be is 10 foot deep. Well, this time of year, I guess it would be. Um, but now you can see that I'm starting to get up to the shallow again as I'm getting closer to the bank here. But this is what I, would, I thought, that there would be a very narrow channel of deep water. In the summertime, they're sitting here, looking deep. Apologize for the wind. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Boy, I can't tell you how well this, uh, this kayak maneuvers. Uh, that rudder is just uh, phenomenal. It really is. Uh, up or down. I mean, down, I'll get, of course, a little bit tighter of a turn, but, boy, you don't even need it in down position for some of the shallow water. It really turns well. Okay, in between the wing gusts, I'm trying to get uh, some recording done. But you can see I'm standing up now. That's how stable it is on the standing up. 
it um, stays pretty reasonable when uh, in the wind too with that uh, rudder in the down position I think it um, stays a little more controlled despite the wind gusts it's not blowing around in circles like my other one was Why the birds are enjoying the, the sun today got some scrub jays just going off man. probably because I hear a cooper's hawk too so it might be Jays versus Cooper's Hawk, I guess. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. Whoa, there. <laughs> uh, I was letting him fight. And he slipped the hook. Well, that was a decent one. I'm trying to get the, my net. There it is. Well, there's my half catch for 2023. I'm only sitting in five foot of water here. I gotta get back to that nine. But that was encouraging, you know. Um, looks like uh, I've got 48 degree temperature here now instead of a 47. 47 is what I started at. Things warming up. And here comes the wind. Well. I heard a great horn, horned owl. So I thought I'd try and get it recorded, but now I don't hear it. He was over there. There you heard him. The outlet to the river is dead ahead. Narrow channel that leads to the Willamette. Amongst all them ducks. Let's go take a look. Okay, well, I just went into the little narrow channel that leads to Willamette. I'm going to head in. Um, I did uh, get a half catch. <laughs> no, does that count? But uh, well, this has uh, been a nice day. Uh, despite the heavy wind, it hasn't been constant. And... Uh, it's definitely been fun experimenting with my new kayak and my new fish finder. So, here we come off. Now, catch you next time.
Well, that one didn't get away. <laughs> I'll get it. There it goes. There we go. Huh? Yeah, probably about three pounds. But not bad. Not bad. There you go.